Hey guys, Edith Essentials here. Today's video I'm going to be using paint buckets to make functional items in the home. Starting with a table. I'll be joining these two buckets together with glue and duct tape. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm going to be covering up this middle part with white poster board. I'm going to use poster board to cover up the write-ups as well. I'll be using plastic sheet to make the design for the table. Now that I've drawn my lines, I'm going to be spray painting the back gold using a gold rust -Oleum spray paint. And now that I have the gold at the back, I'm going to go ahead now and cut them into singular strips. I'll bend both ends to make it easy for me to attach them to the bucket. I'll be using a staple gun to attach the pieces. This is similar to a design that I have done some months ago and I will leave a link for that down in the description box below. A lot of you have been asking if there's a way to make a longer version that will be used as an actual table instead of something small. So that's why I used this design for the table. Moving on to the stools. I'll be making two and I'll be gluing foam around them and making tufts on them.
I'm going to make points on the foam about five inches apart for the tufting. And then I'm going to make holes on those points using a pair of scissors. I'll be using a stretchy fabric that I got from Walmart and this was super cheap. It was $4 for four yards. I'm using my hand to look at where the holes are and stapling it down. For the seating area, I'm going to measure round foam and because I'm using a one inch foam, I'm going to cut two circles and glue them together. I'm going to be cutting out four because like I said earlier, I'm making two stools. After gluing the foam together, I'm going to cover it with fabric and attach it to the bucket. cover of the rough sides, I'll be using chunky yarn that I'm going to cover with fabric. For the legs of my stool, I'm going to be using cement and wooden dowels. I love using the cement because it sets really, really fast. Now what I'm going to do is cover up the sides of what I've just made and then pour the cement inside. Now I want this to be really thick, so I'm going to wait a while for it to get even thicker. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the dowels that I got from Home Depot and spray paint them gold and then insert them inside the cement. Now, of course, the dowels need to be spray painted before you mix the cement because it sets really, really fast. And after a few hours of waiting, my stools are ready. I covered up the staple pins with crystal buttons. For the table, I decided to add a thick wooden board and spray painted the same color as the fabric that I used for the stools. Place it on top and then added glass on top of it. I felt like the table was a little bit big for the stools, so I tried out the table with other chairs. Here's a different setting, using a flower stand to make a smaller table. The design that I made on the table made it bulky. But if you want to make it smaller, you can just add decorative pieces in the middle. If you have a breakfast nook area in the home, these pieces can be added to it. It is so cool to know that you can make awesome pieces with paint buckets. And they can be used in different ways in the home. I really hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to like it and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.